Hi again folks, okay in this video, time to talk about the Amerx. Unfortunately, did not go our way yesterday. We'll look at this, got a report on it. it. Sucks, it does, but my reaction was just swear words, so I won't get into that. I just said, oh my goodness, right, right, I gotta check this, you know, and I seen two nothing. I was like, Ugh. All right, let's take a look. Bears draw even as Shepard blanks Amerx. The header. And there you see it, guys. Two to nothing. This is where I get worried about changing the chemistry. The shots on goal. First period, 10 apiece. Second period, 7 apiece. And third period, 7 for Rochester for a 24 21 total. They played well. You know, I, I liked what I seen anyway. Scoring. Uh, Borgstrom from McMichael and Morelli makes it one to nothing at 16.05 of the second on the power play and it looked like it took a perfect shot to beat Subban. And then with 30 something seconds left, 32 seconds left, um, in the, uh, in that second period, Mellenstein from Sutter and Morelli again makes it two to nothing. And folks, that's it. No scoring in the first, as you see, and no scoring in the third. It was a tight one. So you can't ask for, I guess, any more of a better of a loss. And that's the way I'll leave that, guys. I mean, look, I mean, if they're going to be this competitive all series, we're looking at seven games, I figure, no matter what. I don't care how much of an underdog they are. So, guys, let's look now at the highlights. Game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. The two oldest teams in the AHL. Game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. Underway at Giant Center along Hershey Park Drive. Plays ahead. Kulik in over the blue line. Leans it left wing. Gets it back. Shoots. What a save by Shepard. Sprawled across to his left. Highway robbery there. Oh, Hunter Shepard. A great save on the Amherst top goal score. Pass out of the reach of Davies, here come the Bears. Odd man rush, two on one. McMichael with Vecchioni, McMichael shoots off the blocker. A quality save by Malcolm Subban. Mersh at center, tries to start Rochester forward. It's easily knocked away and foiled by Shepard's goal stick. Markowski again, his blast doesn't make it through traffic. But the Emmerich center in front, Kulik's chance. Shepard got a blocker on it and put it up and out of play. Is it possible to be too close to the goalie? His own zone. Trying to defend along the right wing. Getting around him. Kind of then is Warren. Shepard the save with the right pad. It's loose underneath him. Scrambling around. He's got it on his back and will cover to keep this game scoreless. Well, that was really a dangerous play. Iorio got a little casual with his backward skating and he skated away from the puck. Allowed the. Comes loose again to merge. For the far point, Sacconi's drive. Sam Shepard the rebound. A goal line stand. The Bears keep it out. And they'll break to center. LaPierre with it. Rundstrom, who will settle it down. Shuffles to the goal line. Morelli's there. He and Vecchioni in front of the net. Morgstrom on the right wing. Shoots and scores! A power play goal! Henrik Borgstrom breaks the deadlock. And Hershey with the icebreaker. It's 1-0 Chocolate Town. Well, two things happen on the play. One is they get some traffic in front of Subban, and they finally get a clear look that doesn't hit one of the Americans. As you can see, McMichael back to Borgstrom. He has a little bit of time. Morelli right in front of Subban. Here's the view we want, right behind the goal. Morelli clears some space by knocking Barkowski, and there it is. Wow, that was in a tight little corner over Subban's left shoulder. The wedge to puck loose. Riley has it on his forehand. Behind the net. Send it off there, gets around the up centers of Mellenstein. He scores! Big goal for Beck Mellenstein! Short side! And with 31 seconds left in the second, it's 2 0 Hershey! A big roar from Beck as he goes over to the bench. And you know, I'm not surprised he scored, but I thought it would happen about three seconds earlier. You can see he's in front tapping his stick. He's ready for it. He's ready for it. Riley Sutter doesn't see him, but then he circles around, finds him, and somehow Malenstein gets it in the short side. Can be a game breaker. Trying to dump it in. Protus tracked him from behind. The puck centered. Wide open in front. Zaccone turned out by Sheffield. 
Hubbard. And here come the Bears, a three on one. Over center, Protis with LaPierre. Protis gave it away. Handle on the left wing. Two men on him, leads for Pilon. Lane to the net, great move. Pilon up the goal post and out. Off the iron is Garrett Pilon. Driving to the net, nearly made it three. He's with it, but down to 10 seconds left in game two. The Bears are going to even this series at Giants Center. Wise block to the blue line, cleared out. Hunter Shepard on the redemption tour in game two. A shutout for Shepard in the Eastern Conference Finals is tied up at one. They're on their feet at Giants Center. The Bears win two to nothing tonight, and they head to Rochester even thanks to Shepard's shutout and 24 saves and a perfect performance. Wave those rally towels and go rally behind big 3-0, Hunter Shepard. What a performance. Okay guys, there you have it. You can see that it, you know, it looked like Subban was pretty darn solid in nets also. So uh, they are in this series. This is one game to one, going back to Rochester. And now, folks, it becomes a best of five starting in Rochester. And let's just see if the two oldest teams in, like they said, in the league can get this into a classic. Maybe this goes game seven in overtime. Who knows, right? So we'll see next game. And all I can do is report it, guys. I can't change the score. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tonight. Have a great day, guys.